you were so excited about that trip. What happened? What's going on? And, and what will happen to these travel arrangements now? Yeah, I guess, Sherry, it just shows you how tenuous these arrangements are, isn't it? Because on Friday we were talking here uh, in our editorial meeting about the spike in coronavirus cases. Was it going to be called off? Then I got texts on Saturday from Singapore Air saying, don't worry, your travel flight is still going ahead. And then by 5 p.m. Saturday evening in Hong Kong, there was a press briefing called and they did decide to delay this travel bubble for two weeks due to this spike in infections in Hong Kong. Now, they've said all along, if you see the rolling average over seven days here, five, then this travel bubble would be suspended. It's not quite that high in Hong Kong. It's actually at 3.9, but we had quite a few days of a huge spike in numbers coming through in Hong Kong. 68 reported on Sunday too. So you can see why authorities are being a little bit cautious about this travel bubble because everybody around the world would have been looking for this to see whether or not it was going to get off the ground smoothly and whether or not it could uh, hold up as a template for travel bubbles globally. It does mean that anybody that went ahead on those flights yesterday would now have to quarantine for two weeks in either city. Jules, it just shows kind of how uh, stop start this whole process is going to be to get back in the air right in the meantime you talked about the cases in Hong Kong the city is now offering payments to those that have been infected with the coronavirus to try and get testing higher. Yeah, that's right. It's going to be 5,000 Hong Kong dollars or 645 US dollars for people who uh, do get infected with the coronavirus to try and help them, of course, recover from this disease financially while they're going through uh, the uh, undergoing of, of course, quarantine there. But that will mean that payment, hopefully, they're hoping Sophia Chan, means more people will come forward for testing in Hong Kong.